You ever have a moment where you look at what you drew and then you look at the pile of stuff that came in on your order and you stop and ask yourself, what the hell were you thinking? I'm in one of those situations right now. So welcome to Broke Overland. I'm going to be figuring out what I was doing here over the next week or two or however long it takes me to get these uh, framing built for this uh, furniture. So yeah, let's just get started. Some say I probably need a pickup truck. Meh. I may have purchased a small amount of 80-20. Told you it'd fit. Nothing to see here, officer. Please move along. <laughs> Got my Pelican case holding it up. <laughs> okay. Got our pile of 80-20 off here to the left. And then that big roll is what we're going to be laying on top of the MDF, the marine, marine grade MDF that we've already sealed with a, with a sealer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a vinyl layer across the whole thing, and we're gonna glue that vinyl layer down. Technically, you can't glue to an MDF, but uh, with the sealer, apparently it's okay. So we're gonna give it a shot. But anyways, we're gonna glue this vinyl flooring down to the top of the MDF that's going to go underneath all of the furniture and everything so that we create like a water pan in case we actually blow water or something gets in there where it basically like if we lose a water tank or something we don't have anything sitting directly on the MDF all the water will flow to one basically to one side or somewhere and we can actually put drain holes through the floor in those locations so anyways let's get this thing unboxed and quit jabbering on Stop and read. Words, words, blah. Oh, How freaking long is this thing? Okay, here's the game plan. We're gonna cut it close. We're gonna do it about two inches oversized. Put it in the truck, snip the corner so it just kind of lays in there. Let that heat that truck up, get it nice and warm inside there. Let this thing stretch out, lay flat for a while, and then we'll come back, trim it, and then glue it. Okay, we got this thing in here. Got the heater going, so let this thing soak in some heat because it's kind of chilly out. This stuff is really hard. We'll uh, let this cook off for a little while and then we'll come back, trim it, and hopefully won't screw it up. Lo and behold, just like that, we have a floor. It was so easy, it went right in. Just kidding. It took two days to do this stupid floor. I don't understand how it was so difficult. <laughs> it's very irritating. Anyways, it's in now. We were kind of limited in what we could do with the flooring, so this is a good option. It's easy to clean, easy to get the dog hair out of, we hope. And worst case scenario, we put a layer of cork flooring on top of it. Oh, and yeah, we used some of our 80, 20 inch and a quarter to uh, make sure all the bubbles were held out of it while the uh, glue dries. So on these windows, I went out, I got new screws, but unfortunately these are stainless steel, so they don't stick to a magnet. So we're gonna have to do a little, uh, little tape action on this, uh, on the end of the screw in order to keep it on our Allen wrench. And we'll just cut a little chunk. Pop that guy on like so. Take our Allen key. Jam them in like so, and then line this freaking thing up. I 
There we go. And then on these turn overland windows, you don't want to crank them down. You just want to compress the um, gasket on the other side. So that's it. Now I only got like five million more of those to do, but I won't make you watch them. All right, got all the screws in the windows finally. Um, that was kind of a pain in the butt. And there are actually four screws <laughs> in the frame down in the bottom of that window that are just, are, well, they're stainless steel, so they're just gonna stay there. One other uh, kind of interesting feature is I found out that uh, if you just back these screws off, put a little bailing wire on there, it makes a nice, uh, nice hanger for stuff. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna go ahead and put the frames on. So let's get those going. All right, so these blinds actually have uh, a rib in here that hook onto these guys, but they also, if you pop these open, they also have holes in the corners that you can run a screw through. And that is, the screws need to be at least, it looks like about an inch. Let me measure that. Okay, so I want, uh, yes, I want the blinds to pull up. So that way when I have blinds up, I can slide down and look out the window. Man, what are you kids doing out there? Man, get off my yard. Well, we went out, ran over to the big box store and got us some number six by inch and a quarter. So let's give that a shot. Yeah, that's not even reaching. Just barely, barely grabbing. Yeah, it's only barely grabbing the tip. <laughs> Just the tip and only for a second. All right, well, let's go get some inch and a half. <laughs> okay, let's try some number six by inch and a half. That's not gonna work either. Barely, that's right in between two boards. Okay, well, crapola. I think we're gonna have to go with some long ones and just go into this aluminum or into the steel that's behind it. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, <laughs> inch and a half, or actually uh, inch and three quarter. We're just gonna tap into the steel. Um, we're gonna do uh, another socket cap screw. Right, let's make sure that's gonna line up still. Okay, that is definitely going to line up. Let's tack that down a little bit and we'll drill the other hole. Those two holes took me three and a half hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a pain in the butt. There we go. I'll cover that. Screenage. Perfect. Nice. All right, three more windows to do. Let's see if I can get those done today. Well, there we go. We've got our flooring in. We've got our window shades in. And that, unfortunately, has taken me all week. So <laughs> that's all I've got for you this week. We did get one more piece of trim put in over there. Uh, next step is going to go ahead and we're going to cut the bench seat portion of the 8020. And we'll get that cut, cut this next week and we'll put it in. But until then, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.